What up, dudes? I don't remember my intro. Uh, well, today I'm going to show you how to do a B-Hop hack tutorial. And by the way, the Glow ESP tutorial is coming. I just haven't been on PC for a while, like for two weeks. I've been playing with my cousin on like PlayStation and crap. Um, but I'm back. I'm gonna be making some more tutorials. Right now, I'm making the B-Hop hack because I haven't uploaded in a while, and I'm still working on. Like, I'm still thinking about the Glow ESP tutorial, and I'm trying to learn more stuff about how Glow ESP works, and I'm trying to learn more stuff about, like, cheats, and just get back in the game, you know? Um, but, yeah, we're just gonna be showing you the... thingy. Gl uh, B-Hop. So you just wanna make a source file. Real quick. Call it main, whatever. <sighs> and then, just... You know, include your normal stuff. This is gonna be online, by the way. Oops, okay. Yeah, I've made a trigger bot. Everything that, like, all the other crap. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to, since we're making this online, we need to add the, um, the f process file h process so i'm just gonna go ahead and get that just give me one second all right so i've copied everything oops everything down so i'm just gonna make a new item a header h process that and just paste it in and my online trigger bot tutorial i had the uh, paste bin in the link or in the description i had a link to it that had um whole age processing so if you haven't done that tutorial you can just go to that video and go to that pacemen because I'm probably not going to add it in this one but now I'm going to include a process you probably hear my clicky keyboard I'm sorry but you know can't do anything about it um say hack process f process just like that not the h so f process like that And now, finally, we can go into the main, but first I'm going to add a void called read ground in information. Just like that. Or we call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to be using. Alright. I am in the game. And I'm on this B hop level, just for an example. Give me one second. And, you know, I don't have it on right now, but you just go ahead and b-hop uh, all across this. I don't remember what it's, oh, it's called. b-hop underscore strafe. And I'm going to be using this for my test level to show you the b-hop. So, to get all this, I'm going to open up Cheat Engine. To get the right things, make sure you're doing this on insecure. Or your crap will mess up. Okay, I'm going to attach it to CSGO. And I'm going to type in, right here, we're going to do, see I'm jumping, but what we're going to do is plus jump. And once you do that, once you type that on console, don't do anything, just go to your cheat engine and type 5 for a scan. And then we're going to do minus jump, and then we're going to type in 4. And we're just going to keep doing this over and over until you have one uh, thing left. See, so I did plus jump, 5, and there we go, we only have one. Now to test this, you can actually, here real quick, I'm going to move this right here, uh, I didn't really move it all, just do 4 in here, then 5 again, and I could see I jumped right there, and to get the right address, you want to double click on your address right here, and copy this, it's your client DLL plus this, we're going to copy that right there, this number. Alright, so once you have that address, we're going to go back into Visual Studio, we're going to make a new D word called, um, force... Uh, DW, force jump, like that. And that's our address. And then, we're gonna add one more. Actually, no, we're gonna add an int right here, and it's gonna called, it's be called, uh, force jump. We're gonna use this later. We're just gonna have it like that. <sighs> um, now we need to do in our read ground information finally we're gonna do read process memory like this if you saw the 
if you know how to use F process, which I used in the Triggerbot tutorial for online, you will know how to do this. I'm so my freaking cat just jumped on top of me. Oh my god. Alright. You know how to do this, so we wanna do F process, handle process like that. A comma, P byte, asterisk like that. And then we start adding our stuff together. Now, real quick, right here, remember this? I said, oh my god, what the heck? I said client.dll plus this address right here, which is the one we're using right here. You can see it's this client.dll though, that's the main thing. And that means that we have to add the client like this, a process D word client plus um, this address. So this is the client.dll right here. So we could actually just do this. Here's an example. Oh my god. Do that. But that's just not as efficient for like when the addresses change or something. It will like be um it'll be harder to change them. You'd have to look through everything. I don't know, dude. Jesus. Uh freaking headphones try to auto shut down. Alright. Now we wanna just add that address like this. <sighs> Comma. Then we want to do uh, the and symbol and force jump like that. Oh wait, wait I just remembered. You don't want to. You don't want to do read. You want to write. Um. Actually, yeah, yeah. You want to do this. Um. <sighs> do size of. Int and zero like that. And I just remembered that you don't want to have that right there. This is for when we write some stuff. So real quick, we're gonna actually have another D word. This is called flags or F. I'm just gonna call it um, I underscore F flags like that. And this is a netvar, so it won't change. It's I don't think it's ever changed in CSGO history. Maybe once, but we uh, this won't change. You just call it uh, I underscore FF lags. F flags. Um, we want to do read process memory, so I'm just going to copy this right here and paste it and just change this to read. Get rid of this part right here. Get rid of this. And we're going to copy this. We're going to do one more D word. And we're going to call it. Player. Base. Just na leave it blank for now. Right here we're going to do D word. We're going to leave this as. Int. Okay so right here you want to. Oh yeah one more D word. Crap dude I don't know why I forgot about this. Uh, I'm going to do local player. Equals. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the address for the local player. Um, I made a video on how to get the address. It's like the easiest way. It's really quick, but you can go ahead and look at that, or you can just look it up. I'm gonna look it up, so I'll be right back. All right, I got the address. Just gonna go ahead and paste that in there. Now what you wanna do is f process dot. Well, for the D word part, after you get that uh, address, you're gonna do f process D word client plus local player. And then we want to put it into player base. And yeah, so I'll do word then. Right here we want to do um, player base plus uh, I underscore F flags. Like that. And we want to put it into, we're going to make another int. We're going to call it um, ground info. Just like that. We're gonna put it in do crap. We're gonna put it in ground info. And then right here. Um this is this is the easiest part. Wanna do if oops yeah, if ground info equals um two fifty seven, which two fifty seven means that you're standing on the ground. Um, 256 means you're in the air. Uh, 
257 and uh, we are holding down space like this get a sinky state um, space we will uh, do this so we're gonna have to add brackets we're gonna do force jump equals five like that uh, setting this to five would make it so when we when we do this here we minus jump. see when we type in plus jump um, we jump it's basically setting that it's setting the plus jump or our minus jump to j plus jump which makes us jump if we are um if we are on the ground and we are holding down space it will set our force jump to five which will make us jump and else we want to copy this right here in our else and just do that and change this to four so if we are standing on the ground and we're not holding down space um set our force jump to four or f or if we are in the air and we still are holding down space like if it's set to 256 we it will set it to four so it'll reset it and then finally right here we want to do while the while loop and do f process dot run process like that we will do um read round information so right here we're just calling our function do our main and that should be it let's just go ahead and build it it succeeded, and then I'm going to go into our game after I run it. Alright, I'm back. My visual speed has crashed. I remember, I forgot one more thing. I'm going to sleep right here, and I'm going to rebuild it. I'm not going to rebuild it, but I'm just going to build it again. Whatever. Um, as you can see, I am jumping everywhere. I'm holding it down. Okay, there we go. I'm jumping. I'm just holding it down, and it's working. I don't have any bhop commands on or anything like that. I'm just using the bhop hack. Let's see how far I can get without letting go of space. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's another uh, way. You can make this jump while holding down space, and I'll show that to you in a second. I'm just gonna have to restart my computer because the compiler glitched out. And my hop pack tutorial.exe is stuck open and I it won't, it won't close at all not even with uh, task manager happens every once in a while happens when visual studio crashes while trying to run it run the program let's just see if I can get all right whatever I'm done <sighs> to restart time I've restarted my computer and I'm back in the game and I choose I chose a new map I don't know what this map is all about oh crap I did not really play this uh, I'm going to be playing this map now and I am going to be explaining the rest of the crap since we're basically done uh, let me see all right so so you have the sleep I'm gonna build it I've already built it to see um, basically what I'm doing here I'm just gonna re-explain re re everything uh, I have all this crap uh, read ground information what I'm doing here is getting the player base I'm adding player base to the flags um, putting it into the ground info then I'm checking if I am on ground and holding down space it will make me jump uh, if I'm not, it will make me, or it'll reset it back to normal so I can jump again later. And then I'm calling everything inside my main. And one more thing, like I said, I said I was going to make it so you could do this, use this cheat while crouching. Just want to do this. I'm going to copy this right here. And do that. But instead I'm going to make this 263. Uh, 263 is um, crouching. Like it tells you if you're crouching or not um and then five and i meant to do this there we go now let's build this 
yeah, now we're done. Now I'm actually going to run it for real. And then go into the game. I'm in the game. I'm jumping. I'm just holding down space. And now I'm going to crouch. See? Jumping. And now you can like make those longer jumps when you're crouching. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'm done with this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please ask them. I can help you out with whatever you need. Also, I have a Discord for making cheats. I don't know if I said that yet. I probably have. But I have a Discord called Make Cheats. And there's some advanced uh, coders in there too that make cheats. And you can go in there, ask people for help. They'll all help you, um, most likely. And you can find example source code on there too, because like you can, you can post your own source code on there. You can even put paste in there for educational purposes, because you can learn something off a of paste. And yeah, you might find something helpful on there. You might get some help. So yeah, get some help. Thanks you for watching.